Becky. Welcome back to my channel. If you're already subscribed to me, if you're new, I'm so glad you stopped by to visit me today. Today I have a homeschooling video, which I have not done one in quite a while, but I had an idea the other day and I was thinking about math in which I was like, who wants to think about math? If you don't know our story already, my oldest is 18. She's actually already graduated from our homeschool high school. My youngest is 12. And when we first started thinking about homeschooling my oldest, she was in fourth grade public school. And we knew we wanted to homeschool by that point, but I was like, I cannot do math. I am so bad at math. I am even worse at teaching math. There were so many things that scared me about the concept of having to teach my daughter or my kids math. So I'm gonna share with you the five main reasons that I can think of that your child might be struggling with whatever math curriculum that they're using. And the first thing is, not starting at the correct level. Especially if you have a kid that's coming out of public school and maybe you've decided to homeschool and you don't really know what level they need to be on, maybe they're just not in the right level. And I think sometimes we tend to get caught up in the fact of, well, they're in fifth grade, so they have to do fifth grade math. Or they're in high school, so they have to do this, this, and this, because that's what I did in high school. Knowing where your child really needs to be is super important because I know you feel like maybe you're gonna lose time if you take too much time at a certain concept or a certain grade level math, but if they don't get those concepts in the beginning, it's gonna haunt them the entire time they're doing math all the way through high school. So making sure that your child is starting out at the correct level is super important and it could be a reason why your child might be struggling. Another reason why your child might be struggling with math is if you are using a curriculum that is teaching from a mastery approach rather than a spiral approach. I know people are usually very one way or the other. A mastery approach just basically means you study a certain topic or concept and you do not move on until you have completely mastered it. But typically you don't ever come back to review that. A spiral approach is when you are learning new concepts and you get a pretty good handle on them. You move on a little bit, but you're always circling back to those previously taught concepts. They're two very different approaches to teaching math or really any subject. But math is especially one of those ones that I feel like you know, you're either one way or the other. Your child is either gonna to respond to completely working on just one thing over and over and over until it's like 100% solidified, or maybe they're gonna get frustrated if they have to stay on the same topic too long. Maybe it's gonna be better for them to be able to move on a little bit, but then always keep coming back to making sure that what they were taught and what they learned back a couple of lessons ago is always being, being reintroduced and never really just like completely forgotten. Another thing I think can be a common problem with math is not having enough help. And this is particularly something that I worried about because I know I'm bad at math and I know I'm bad at teaching and explaining math. Even if it's something I know how to do, I'm not good at explaining how to do it. I'm just not. So there are a lot of programs that you, you know, you kind of feel like you're alone in teaching it. You don't have anybody to call or ask or talk to. Maybe there's vid not video lessons where you know they can actually watch a certain instructor teach a certain concept. But not having enough help from the student's perspective and also from your perspective as the teacher can be a huge problem when it comes to finding a math curriculum that not only works for your child, but that also works for you. Another hang up that I think people will find with math programs is that their kids are bored. Maybe you're using a complete black and white workbook and there's like no pictures and what there is is like super ugly and boring and they're not motivated by their curriculum. You have to do math anyway, why not make it fun? If it's something that your child is going to enjoy doing because it appeals to what they like to look at or maybe games they like to play, then why not make it fun so it's not a drudgery for your child to have to do math. And the fifth reason why your child might be struggling with your math curriculum is it's just a program that doesn't work for them. It's kind of like what I mentioned earlier about the mastery approach versus the spiral approach. Math is one of those things that can be taught so many different ways. The same concept can be taught so many different ways. Maybe it's being taught to your child in a way that doesn't make sense for them. Maybe it's not being explained in just the right way to like click in their brain of how something works and how numbers all connect together and how they are all kind of related to each other. Sometimes it's just a program and just the approach and the way that it's taught is not working for your child. Nothing wrong with the program, it's just not in the way that your child needs to be taught it. So all that being said, those are five reasons why that your child might be struggling with math. And for us, the solution was one program. It was the first program that we tried for math and it was a win from the very beginning. And if you guys have followed me for a while on my channel, then you know that is teaching textbooks. We've been using teaching textbooks the longest of any curriculum we've ever used. My oldest used it from the middle of fourth grade all the way through high school. And now that she's almost done with college, I feel like she got a really good solid math education. She got exactly what she needed and it was a perfect fit for her 
and it was a perfect fit for me. Somebody who is timid about math and not feeling confident enough to teach it, it was as much hands-off as I wanted it to be. I didn't have to really do anything to help her with her math. So going back to all those different issues when it comes to a mastery approach or a spiral approach, teaching textbooks will teach a concept, spends quite a bit of time on it, and then moves on, but always circles back to things that were previously taught. It will even tell your child when you're doing the lesson, you know, previously taught in lesson five or previously taught in lesson 10. So that not only are they going back and revisiting old concepts, but you can actually look back and see exactly when that was. So I find that really helpful because to me, math is one of those things that if you don't use it, you lose it in some cases, especially as it gets on and gets harder. So I really like that. That's the perfect option for both of my girls is to be able to, you know, get to get a concept down really well, move on, but always come back. And I mentioned also a problem of not starting at the correct level. Teaching textbooks offers free placement tests for every single level that they have. So you're, you can take all of them if you want. Your child can take all of them to really make sure that they are starting not just on where they might be grade level wise, but where they actually need to be ability wise. That's a huge deal is not getting caught in that trap of, well, they're in fifth grade, they have to do math five, even though maybe they don't even know the stuff that was taught in math two or math three or math four. So definitely make sure that if you're looking at teaching textbooks that you utilize those free placement tests, they are super important and super vital to making sure that you start your child off on the right foot when it comes to picking a math curriculum. And when it comes to not having enough help for your child, teaching textbooks has a virtual teacher. They are watching a a lesson being taught by an instructor. It's not the actual teacher, but you're like, you're hearing the teacher's voice and you're seeing it all worked out on the computer. They're able to be taught a lesson from someone else other than you. Also, Teaching Textbooks offers free tutoring over the phone. I don't know any other company that offers free tutoring and Teaching Textbooks does. So if you're finding that your child needs even extra help, Set up a phone call, a tutor will call you back and help your child over the phone to really make sure they are understanding whatever problem they're having and then they can move on. So huge, huge value there that I think a lot of people don't know about that is pretty unheard of in the homeschool curriculum world. Also, I mentioned your child might be bored with their math curriculum. Maybe it's too black and white. Maybe they like games to play that reinforce different concepts. Teaching Textbooks offers fun features like Math Buddies, there's fun wallpapers that you can change in the background, there's little noises, there's hints that can pop up. Now those are all things you can turn off if you want to, but if your child is really motivated by those things and would enjoy those things and that would make math more fun for them, then those are definitely there for your, for your child to make math just that much more enjoyable. And the last thing I mentioned was that the program just doesn't work for them. The teaching style, the approach, whatever the reason it is, Maybe it just doesn't work. But the good thing about teaching textbooks is they offer a 15 lesson free trial of any level that you wanna sign up for, no credit card information required, no obligation required. Your child can try out the program for 15 lessons for free to really get a feel for the program, how it's taught, does your child respond well to the hints and the buddies, do you wanna turn those off? Um, the grading is done for you so you can kind of get a, a feel for in the parent dashboard like how that looks and how that works and how you're able to go back and erase lessons if you want and make your child redo it. It's just a really great and generous way to try out teaching textbooks to make sure that it's a good fit for your child and for you, which I think is really, really valuable because, you know, as somebody who has bought different curriculum thinking it's going to be amazing and then having it not work for us, that can be really frustrating. So 15 lessons is a really generous way to try the teaching textbooks math curriculum to really get a feel for the program. If you end up signing up after those 15 lessons, one thing that I really appreciate is once you sign up, then you actually will start, your child will start and pick up where they left off at lesson 16. They're not having to go back and redo all the lessons. They're going to pick up where they left off, which I really appreciate. So those are just five of the reasons that I have been able to think of that maybe your child is struggling with math because of, but also the solution for us has been teaching textbooks. It's a great curriculum, it's a great company, it's super affordable, and I cannot say enough good things about them. I have talked about them so many times over the years because I just, I love their curriculum, I love their math approach, and it has been exactly what we needed for my girls and exactly what we needed for me as the timid math teacher slash parent. It's been a perfect solution for us. So I will link the um, free trial for you guys in the description box if you're interested in trying it out. Highly encourage you to do that. I think you guys will love it as much as we do. I'll also link my homeschooling playlist. Every homeschooling video I've made in the past about teaching textbooks or any other curriculum 
is in that playlist. So I think you'll find lots of helpful videos there and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.